What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. We're about to check out Alistair Black Black Mass compilation from 2019. His finisher move is so believable. When he hits the Black Mass and they show it in slow mo, it looks brutal as hell. It's it's a move that is really believable. Like you can see someone hitting this move on somebody, like say in a MMA fight and they legitimately go down from it is it's one of those type of moves that i'm glad they have protected for the most part nobody should be kicking out of the black mass the name sounds deadly the, the impact of it the quickness of it how how he's able to pretty much hit it no pun intended out of nowhere and the person just drops you know and, and i think that's what makes a a good finisher move believable is can you see someone hitting this move and they just be taken out of the match completely? You know, now there are some other finishing moves that are not as believable, but the the wrestler themselves, the character that the wrestler is portraying, they're able to make that move more believable. For example, like the, the, the Stone Cold Stunner. If you want to be honest, technically, you you know i can't see somebody hitting a, a stone cold stunner in a fight and then someone really being injured from it you know maybe some hypertension on the neck but it's not it's not just believable but the fact that stone cold was hitting it and the character stone cold was just unimaginably over like anytime that move was hit people you know popped and you know they were they're all for it and the same with the black mask man once you hit with it you're done so we're gonna check it out man appreciate all the love and support road to 20k and let's check out this compilation potential stop he needs to do whatever is necessary oh my god bro right here now look at this ambrose it's so nasty oh well there you go oh <clears throat> Oh. oh the black mass kick connects Beautiful look at the see when they show the slow-mo look at that the precision on that bro easy defeat the former nxt it's so quick what's happening here give me that <laughs> get your ass out the ring Shoulders down, Dawson may have him kick out at two and a half. Ooh. That's it. That's oh my gosh, bro. It is such a good move. Lights out. Rivals first, they know. That's why I, I'm I'm so glad they've protected the move so far. I'm so glad they protected the move. It's just, it's such a good finishing move, man. Very believable. That one, he he really got most of his shoulder. He ain't really hit his uh, his uh, neck and head area. Now, that one he got. That one he connected more. <laughs> Team now by the revival. Gonna question that decision. And I think Rick Black into his tag. own tag. The revival. <laughs> I like how the wrestlers will sell it too. Like they sell it like they've just gotten destroyed. Like they soul just left their body. By the revival. Look at that. The way they sell it, bro. Look at that. Like he's seeing stars. Give me that. See, now you can see on some of them, he doesn't really get all of it. I think he, he ends up getting like their shoulder. Like 
that shoulder area. You know, it's different if he's like right here. Sometimes he's able to get the neck region, and sometimes he's actually able to get the 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 like the side of the face. But a couple of these clips I've seen, he hasn't been able. To, depending on the position in and stuff, he was like just got the shoulder blade. Has to focus on it. Those eyes of Alex the Black. And plus his character, like just the character that he is, he's so stoic, so chill. You know what I'm saying? It seems like a move of for someone that's just like silent but deadly. Doesn't say much. You don't see it coming. It's just you're gone. You're out the match. You lost. You know what I'm saying? It fits his character. So. <laughs> Poor Ricochet. <laughs> Give me that. It's so complex, my gosh. Wisely, Alistair Black targeting oh. the leg of Cesaro. <laughs> Look at this. Now that, that right there, that's perfect timing. Accuracy. Oh, my Jesus. Look look at this. We got to go back, yo. Oh, my God. That was. Look at this. Oh, my God. Right on. And we've seen this before. Measuring Cesaro. Yes. Oh my gosh! Knocked his mouthpiece clean. Well, the lights are still on. They're about to get the shut off permanently. Yes. <laughs> just good. such a good finisher, man. I, I like it. Definitely again. like it. Now Benjamin. Oh. Oh. Went for the right. oh. oh. He didn't get all of it. He kind of had his hands up a little bit on that one. Mr. Reynolds doesn't know where he's at right now. Oh, he I don't think he got all of that one either. You enter the ring with him, you will fade to black. Black magic. What a roundhouse. Very protective black finisher. Last week when he beat Tony Nese, well, right now he's looking to send a message directly to black. <laughs> right on the jaw. <laughs> and then, like I said, I love when the wrestlers just. That's selling is key. On the foot. Look out. Watch out. Black oh! Black 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 Murphy just kept it going. Boom. Out of nowhere. One more look. Black oh. Mass. And listen, this is it. On Alistair Black's door. And the slowest right match we may have come to an end. Oh! There we go. Goodbye. <laughs> God damn. Oh! There we go. Goodbye. Oh! <laughs> I don't think he got all of it that time. time of Black Mass there we go. Ah, oh, man. I'm telling you, when you have a, a finisher like that, you want to protect it as much as possible. Especially a finisher that is is a type of finisher that doesn't really need much of a setup. It can really come out of nowhere. Finishers like that, you want to keep them special. Especially with a wrestler like that. I really do wish they push Aleister Blackmore. I think in NXT... He had the perfect mysterious vibe, but, you know, he had no allegiance to no one, really. It was just, you know, he's out there to put people to sleep. You know, he was real chill, real stoic, and, you know, it. his whole character in NXT just was, you know, more appealing than what it is in WWE. Granted, he's still the same character, but I don't think WWE has gotten behind him like they should. Like, to me, he is definitely mid card to upper main event if they get behind him because he has a finisher that when it's hit people say oohs and ahs when it's you know what i'm saying and, and it makes the match a little bit unpredictable because you never know when it's coming it's not a setup you never know a lot of times when he's about to hit the black mask so the match could end so quickly and once again it fits his character so hopefully wwe at some point pushes him even more where he can start getting some mid car championships and hopefully get to the main event scene because he's he's definitely someone that you know um i believe the fans could get behind it's just the machine gotta get behind him but hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know comment down below do you think uh alistair black black mass is a uh 
is a i guess you could say a top tier finisher me personally i think it is a top tier finisher it's it's a finisher that is very unique very quick very concise gets the job done and creates a good reaction from the crowd so comment down below if y'all think the black mass is a cool finisher or you think it's kind of lackluster and uh, i appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on these past few videos you guys have been just watching it like crazy commenting you know like bombing like crazy i appreciate all the love and support man road to 20k Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace.